UW researchers say a continuous stream of warm liquid shooting up from the seafloor appears to be coming from the Cascadia Fault. They don't believe it could trigger an earthquake, but say it could impact friction between plates in the fault zone. We've never seen an event like this. A milestone for oceanographers as University of Washington researchers analyzed this seep from the seafloor first spotted by a student during a 2014 voyage. It was a phenomenal experience. Since then, they've monitored the site and just published a study on what's now called Pythia's Oasis. Researchers say based on calculations, they believe fluid is leaking from near the boundaries of plates along the Cascadia subduction zone. Scientists believe it may impact friction in the fault zone, but they don't believe this feature will trigger earthquakes. Are we going to have yeah. a mega thrust event, a right. magnitude 9 right here because of the, the Pythia's oasis? No, in fact, it's probably the opposite because instead of um, the, the magnitude earthquakes, the earthquakes that, are, that we've observed, um, we have seismometers on our network, um, are, you know, magnitude 4-ish, a little over 4, something like that. So, you know, it rumbles, but it's not a magnitude 9 that unzips the entire subduction zone. More research is necessary to understand exactly what's driving the flow of fluid. Scientists are interested in the development of more sea life year to year near the site and what finds like this mean for the future. As we start thinking about climate change, you know, how we don't have good measurements of how much methane is actually coming out of here and how much reaches the surface, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a greenhouse gas. So, you know, there's many, many reasons to study these, these systems. Researchers are planning to voyage to the site again this summer.